Tom, Matt from the Detroit News. What has uh, Hoiberg brought to the program these last couple years, and what kind of how would you describe how you, your feelings are in a moment? You know, I'd like you to call Jaron Jackson and ask him what he thinks of Hoiberg. You know, uh, th those guys, Tom, Jaron, uh, uh, Miles. Uh, you know, he's a coach's son. He had a scholarship to play golf. He wanted to come here and. Uh, you know, I don't know if it's because of Jimmy Boylan. I don't know what it was, but they came up here and kind of, I think, fell in love with the place. And he's an unbelievable kid. You know, he's a phenomenal student. He's tougher than nails. I mean, he's not as big. You know, I don't know where, what happened to his size. You know, his, his dad's got good size. His mom's got good size. I, I think the good Lord didn't shine down on him in that respect. But uh, uh, that's probably why I like him, too. He's somebody I can talk to, you know, try talking to Marcus, when you're in a huddle, you know, it's, it's hard to get up there where the air is thin. So I, uh, I, I love Jack. I, I think our whole team loves Jack. He's, uh, he's been a good scout player. You know, early in the year, I said, if we had to play him, I mean, I played point guards that didn't run things like Jack does. And, he, and uh, I just have the utmost respect, appreciation. But what's really cool is a lot of those other guys do, too. And uh, I bet you there's not a player in our team that doesn't think the world of him, but those superstars that we had, and it wasn't because they were hoping their dad, his dad would draft them. It was genuine, you know. He, he's just a tough, good kid, and uh, I'm hoping he's around for a long time.